All right, LDBC, LDWMA, see your boy, the coach, you live, 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 and the coach show, the coach show live. If a picture can talk to y'all, this picture speaks volumes and it speaks a million words, okay? I'm going to give you guys a history lesson, okay? You read the title. I'm going to give you guys a history lesson, okay? All right, this is when Amanda Nunes and Kayla Harrison were both at American Top Team, okay? Um, you got Kayla Harrison, Amanda Nunes, and you got Mike Brown in the center. Um, I used to always tell people, you know, because I met Amanda. Matter of fact, me and Amanda met face to face. I even told him, man, I said, I like Chris Cyborg better. And Amanda said, you what? You, you know, you don't like Chris. You like me. You know, and she started laughing. Amanda thought it was completely hilarious when I told her. I said, no, nah, I'm a Chris Cyborg fan. But, you know, Amanda is laid back. She laid back as hell. If y'all ever met her in person, like she's straight laid back. And so, <laughs> you know, I was sitting here telling her this and she laughing. But when I stood face to face with Amanda, you know, I'm like, damn. In between a fight, Amanda Nunes, this, you know, she a big girl. Like, she thick. She real thick. And um, I just, I said, and I just asked, I said, dang, Amanda, why are you putting on so much muscle mass in between fights? Like, you are thick. And, you know, Nina was there. Nina started laughing. Like, j Nina bust out laughing. And Amanda said, well, you know, I like to keep my strength, you know, because I wrestling and, you know, I wrestle so many big people. I like to stay strong, you know, me. So, you know, I'm sitting there like, okay, okay. You know, that makes sense. Um, so Amanda, in between fights, she's very, she's heavier. She's muscular. And so I was like, what are all these people talking about? Like, everybody think Kayla Harrison is more, like, massive than Amanda? I'm like, nah. You can look at this picture right here. Amanda Nunes has always been bigger than Kayla Harrison. Okay? They both cut a lot of weight to get down to 135. That Amanda don't pick any bones about it. Amanda, you know, and, and when I met Amanda, Amanda was like, yeah, you know, we go eat, you know, we go eat. And, and she said, and Nina said, you know, any good restaurants around here? You know? And I gave her, you know, I gave them a couple of restaurants that, you know, that are good. And I told her some to avoid. But they were going to go eat. Crazy, man. But Amanda, Amanda liked to eat. But uh, I said, <laughs> y'all think Kayla Harrison bigger than Amanda. And everybody was thinking this. I'm like, nah. <laughs> And I said, for you to think that Kayla Harrison, these are fans, could go in there and go overpower Amanda Nunez. I said, y'all crazy. <laughs> Amanda Nunez carries a lot of muscle mass and a lot of, like, she's heavy in between fights. I said, she's bigger than Kayla. And of course I'm right. Again, Coach Tadamas is undefeated. But I'm going to go into Coach Tadamas mode. Y'all better listen to every word. Because what I tell y'all in this mode, I'm always right. Okay? Let me tell you guys how the riff started, Okay? Well, okay, Kayla Harrison first came to American Top Team, okay? And, you know, Mike Brown was like, you know, <laughs> getting a mental erection. <gasps> oh, Kayla, oh. And Amanda was like, yeah, you know, this girl right here, she gonna be good. You know, she can be good, you know? Like, Amanda was co-signing Kayla. But over time, Kayla started getting jealous because, you know, when Amanda, they start dubbing Amanda the GOAT of WMMA. See, Kayla over there, she's a damn hater. She was getting jealous. And she was always jealous of a man of success. So you think about somebody in training camp with you that envy you, that's a dangerous person. Because see, that person can injure you. They can injure you and try to say it was an accident. Well, okay, that's exactly what happened. Well, she didn't quite injure Amanda, but they were sparring. Some light, light sparring. And it's supposed to be light sparring. Well, Kayla take the sparring too hard. Okay, she dropped Amanda too hard. And you know, Amanda was like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? You know, we spawn. This is late spawn. This is not, you know, okay, okay. So Amanda jump up, right? I'm talking about beat the sh out of Kayla Harrison. Beat up. Y'all remember that interview when Kayla Harrison had that damn black eye? Y'all remember that? Amanda gave her that black eye. Amanda beat, I'm, I'm talking about Amanda beat her up. Beat her ass. And <laughs> Amanda, from what I hear from my two contacts, they said Amanda beat her up so bad, Kayla Harrison started crying in that gym, like was in tears, literally, because she got beat up. And y'all know that that part is true, because what happened when Kayla lost to Larissa Pacheco? When Larissa Pacheco beat her up, what was Kayla in the octagon doing? Crying. I'm talking about Amanda beat her up. Amanda got furious, bro, and beat this girl up. Because Kayla was trying to showboat, you know, she was trying to stud up. That's what she was trying to do. Kayla was in there trying to stud up. And try to, you know, say, hey, you know, I used to do this to Amanda. See, Kayla's a hater. And Amanda was like, girl, you're going to get me hurt. Okay? Like, dude, you're going to get me hurt. Because, you know, when you like sparring, 
your defenses are down and you're not thinking that the person coming at you hard. Nope, not Kayla Harrison. Kayla Harrison trying to kill you, take your head off. So Amanda had to stood up and show her who boss and Amanda had to beat her up. And I think it was necessary. Amanda Nunez had to go in there and do what she needed to do because she couldn't let this girl, this new girl come in there. I mean, y'all don't understand how I work in gyms, okay? You cannot, you can't, I mean, Amanda couldn't have that. I mean, and in gyms, they retaliate against you. When you do dumb stuff, like you go too hard, you have to, the retaliation is coming, okay? Y'all heard, if y'all ever heard Pat Berry talk about that, retaliation, that, that happens all the time. People get beat up in gyms a lot. It's not uncommon. But Kayla thinking that she was tough shit, and she was thinking that, you know, well, can't nobody touch me. Man, Amanda touched her up, beat her up. Amanda put hands on Kayla, okay? So the rift started because Mike Brown started seeing dollar signs with Kayla Harrison. See, I told y'all, people like Dana White, Mike Brown, when they see Kayla, they see money because they think about Ronda Rousey. So Mike Brown was showing Kayla more attention. You know, Amanda wanted to get up in there and do some stuff with Mike Brown. And sometimes Mike Brown wasn't available. Now, I'm sitting here, you know, Amanda like, yo, wait a minute now. I done been with y'all for all these years, okay? Y'all done, y'all done profited off of my damn name because I've been the champion, knocking everybody out. Y'all been profiting off my damn name, and I can't get in here and do what I need to do with you? Wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what's going on? But Kayla can get in there. So, see, that started that riff. And Amanda was like, okay, damn this. <laughs> nah, I ain't finna do this. Nah. You ain't finna put Kayla over me, and I'm your champion? Hell no, you know? So see, that that's the riff. And Amanda Nunez, you know, fell out with Mike Brown, and she fell out with him. So here's the thing now, okay? Now, Amanda been making posts on social media, okay? Saying that she gonna come back. Dana White has even talked about Amanda coming back. Here's the thing, okay? Amanda don't wanna fight Juliana Pena. That's what I, I, I'm telling you now. She don't want to fight Juliana. Y'all want to know the person that she really want to beat up? Amanda Nunez want to get in there with Kayla Harrison because Amanda, in her brain, she can pretty much already say in her mind, I can already beat uh, Juliana Pena. Uh, Amanda don't want to fight her. Amanda 100% don't want to fight Juliana Pena. Okay? She's not going to come back for Juliana. Okay? Amanda want to fight Kayla Harrison. That's who she want to beat up. So, here's what Amanda's going to do, okay? She's going to sit back, and she's going to wait for Kayla to take the belt from Juliana if she's successful. She's going to wait, okay? Here's why Amanda's going to play the waiting game. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, if Juliana Pena beats Kayla Harrison, guess what Amanda Nunez don't have to do? She don't have to fight because really Juliana Pena beating Kayla Harrison, that's the same thing as her beating her. Because wait a minute, you can't beat my leftovers. You can't beat the person that I completely decimated. Like Amanda Nunez beat Juliana Pena one inch of her damn life. And I'm not kidding y'all, man. Juliana Pena had taken so many shots. I know that this girl had at least a concussion. I know she had to, man. The amount of damage that she was taking in that fight Honestly, I wish the fight would have got stopped. For Juliana's sake, I wish that fight had been stopped. Okay? That's the one, maybe two or three fights in MMA history that I've ever felt like that needed to be stopped. And Amanda Nunez beating up Juliana Pena, that fight should have been stopped. A corner should have thrown in the towel. And in MMA, I don't know why these people in MMA, that's why one criticism of MMA, they reluctant to throw the towel in. Now, boxing, them trainers, they'll throw that towel in in a minute. I'm talking about they will throw that towel in because, you know, boxing, they know you live to fight another day. MMA, they be like, no, I'm finna down my shield. Uh, I'm finna go out with honor. I'm finna go out, man. <laughs> no. Stop the fight. By round three, I'd already, I was I was begging for Julianne Pena's corner to stop the fight. I beg for that. Because, you know, I'm thinking Julianne Pena's a mom, you know, and it's like, man, do you, do you guys know when Julianne Pena, she's done with fighting? Those head trauma shots don't go away, y'all. You know that she's going to suffer some type of brain damage from that kind of hit. I mean, guys, you saw it in the Rocky Pennington fight when she got hit. You remember Juliana Pena used to have a chin of steel? And remember, I, I tell you guys how, these chin, how the chin works. That over time, over time, if you're constantly getting hit and touching your chin. Remember I told y'all that? 
that eventually your chin is no more? Y'all remember Jessica Andrade? Remember Jessica Andrade used to have a granite chin? And now Jessica Andrade getting hit and getting dropped and getting beat up, getting knocked out. Folks, it's inevitable that your chin is going to go. The more hits you take to it, the more it's going to go. And it's not like Juliana Pena, the most defensively sound person out there, okay? It's just what it is. When Juliana Pena was wrestling more, she was getting hit less, which is why I think she need to go back and wrestle more than she try to box. That's my opinion. Juliana Pena took a lot of hits. And so beating Juliana Pena in Amanda's mind, okay, that's easy. I already done that. I already got the secret. I know how to beat this girl. Amanda won't Kayla. And Amanda been wanting Kayla for a long time. Amanda Nunes can't stand Kayla. She can't stand her. Okay? She she can't stand Kayla with it. Like Amanda, that's the one fight that she been itching. She been itching. And matter of fact, Amanda Nunes has been training, y'all. Y'all think Amanda been sitting around doing a bunch. Amanda Nunes has been training. This whole time. And then when Kayla Harrison got brought on by the UFC, Amanda Nunes went into even more training. Guys, y'all go look at Amanda Nunez's recent post. This girl looked like she in shape, man. This girl don't have any kind of stomach. She lean, she trim, and, and she muscular. Amanda Nunez been in hardcore conditioning, trying to heal. Okay? All the rumors true. Amanda Nunez is going to return. Okay? Now, I know that some of y'all are happy about this. Now, I'm not a Nunez fan. I, I'm just not. She don't really want Julianne opinion. She just don't want to do it. She'd rather fight Kayla Harrison. And she won't Kayla Harrison. Because once and for all, Amanda want to shut up. Amanda been sick and tired of Kayla Harrison for years and years and years and years. And Kayla Harrison been running her mouth and talking junk for years and years and years and years. She been talking junk. A lot of junk. And I'm talking about like it's to the point where Amanda's real chill and laid back. She real, real chill, but it's like something about Kayla Harrison just irks her, man. Irks her. Like, you even get somebody who accidentally hit you in sparring and they apologize. Man, look, Amanda Nunez, it's almost like she needed an excuse to beat Kayla ass. Like, she wanted an excuse to beat her up, man. Because, you know, that riff, it, it had started, man. And she was already frustrated that Mike Brown was showing Kayla Harrison more attention. You know, y'all know how women get, man. Women, women are a little bit different. If they think for one minute that you showing them more attention than somebody else. See, women get jealous, but uh, Amanda was already pissed, so she needed an excuse to whoop Kayla ass, and that's what she did. I I'm just telling y'all that's what it is, okay? Amanda Nunes won't Kayla Harrison. She has no interest in beating up Juliana Pena. In Amanda mind, that's easy work, okay? Um, and also, too, Amanda Nunes has been injured a lot throughout her career. A lot of her fights, Amanda Nunes, you know, sometimes I think she'd be sandbagging some of these injuries, but, you know, her leg injuries, her, her ankle injuries, and her calf, and, like, those injuries are pretty much, they've been there. And, see, Amanda had been teasing, you know, like, coming back. She'd been teasing it, but every time she think about wanting to come back, is that she nursing an injury. Like, y'all don't get Amanda been beating people up, and Amanda been at about 70, 75% in a lot of her fights. But I think now she's feeling she's feeling better. Like, she's feeling more like she's getting closer to 100%. And you can even look, and you can look and see, you know, how Amanda trained. You can look at her, man. She just looked more healthier, you know? She looked a lot more healthy. And she want to come back and fight Kayla Harrison. See, I, I don't know if fighting Juliana Pena... It's good for Kayla Harrison. Because Juliana Pena, you got to, you know you're going five hard rounds, okay? Do she want to do that? Yeah, she could beat Juliana, but, you know, it's going to come at a price. It's going to come at a price, your body. Okay? It's going to come at a price. And see, I don't know. I just think Amanda Nunes want one more fight versus two. And I think the one more fight she want to beat is Kayla Harrison. Once and for all. See, Amanda know about Juliana running her mouth. Amanda not <laughs> Amanda thinks Juliana Pena trash talk is kind of comical, really. <laughs> and I got to admit, Juliana is funny as hell. She's funny as hell, y'all. And Amanda be laughing at that. But Kayla is personal. With Kayla Harrison, this is personal, okay? The fighter she want to beat is to, is to her right or to her left. 
And she's going to do anything she can to whoop her ass because Amanda's sick of this girl telling me she's the best of all time. Well, it should be Kayla Harrison. <laughs> she had nothing else to prove anyway.